Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovery science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. Today I'm going to tell you about the periodic table of elements. The periodic table is a way of listing the elements. Elements are listed in the table by the structures of their atoms. This includes how many protons they have as well as how many electrons they have in their outer shell. From left to right and top to bottom, the elements are listed in the order of their atomic number, which is the number of protons in each atom. A Russian chemist named Dmitry Mendeleev developed the first periodic table in 1869. At the time, scientists did not know about atomic numbers. They did know that each element had an atomic weight, however. Mendeleev noticed that there was a relationship between the atomic weight and other properties of the elements. When all the known chemical elements were arranged in order of atomic weight, they appeared to be in groups with shared properties. Using the table, Mendeleev was able to accurately predict the properties of many elements before they were actually discovered. But first, what is an element? An element is a pure substance that is made from a single type of atom. Elements are the building blocks for all the rest of the matter in the world. Examples of elements include iron, oxygen, hydrogen, gold, and helium. The atomic number assigned to each element is important in the periodic table. So what does the atomic number mean? The atomic number is the number of protons in each atom. Each element has a unique atomic number. Hydrogen is the first element and has one proton, so it has an atomic number of one. Gold has 79 protons in each atom and has an atomic number of 79. Elements in their standard state also have the same number of electrons as protons. Now you might wonder, why is it called the periodic table of elements? It is called periodic because the elements are arranged into periods and groups. A row of elements across the table is called a period. Each period has a number from 1 to 8. From left to right, the elements are lined up in rows based on their atomic number, the number of protons in their nucleus. Some columns are skipped in order for elements with the same number of valence electrons to line up on the same columns. When they are lined up this way, elements in the columns have similar properties. Each horizontal row in the table is a period. There are seven or eight total periods. The first one is short and only has two elements, hydrogen and helium. The sixth period has 32 elements. Each period, the leftmost element has one electron in its outer shell, and the rightmost element has a full shell. What about the columns on the table? These are the groups. There are 18 columns or groups and different groups have different properties. So why are elements grouped, you may wonder? Well, this lining up and grouping of similar elements helps chemists when working with elements. They can understand and predict how an element might react or behave in a certain situation. Each element has its own name and abbreviation in the periodic table. Some of the abbreviations are easy to remember, like H for hydrogen. Some are a bit harder, like Fe for iron or Au for gold. For gold, the Au comes from the Latin word for gold, aurorum. The periodic table is always evolving. As scientists learned more about the elements, they revised the table several more times since then. The current version of the table has been in use since the mid-1990s. Thank you for watching this episode of Adventurous Kids. What did you learn today? Adventurous Kids. Adventurous Kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous Kids. Adventurous Kids. Adventurous Kids.